Hey guys, Pete here. This will be my Game of Thrones Season 8 Episode 5 trailer breakdown. Episode 4 brought us to King's Landing and this trailer really only shows us the main characters preparing for the coming battle. There is no voiceover in this trailer, just music and a ticking clock. At the very end, we get a hint of Drogon being involved, but we definitely don't see him. This is the setup for the final battle of the Game of Thrones series. My initial takeaway is that they're focusing on the suspense leading up to the battle and leaving us guessing about everything else, which isn't surprising considering the magnitude of the battle and the fact that this is the penultimate episode of a series that has been known for penultimate episodes. The image that stood out to me the most was Tyrion walking up to Daenerys in the map room at Dragonstone. It really shows how screwed she actually is here. In episode 4 we see her lose everything for the most part. And we see how Tyrion, who is supposed to be her most trusted advisor, is still torn about how things should proceed. When I saw him I thought he should be approaching her to tell her that they need to take care of Cersei by some other means besides a straight up battle. Get a team together, have them sneak into the Red Keep to dispatch her, and save the lives of everyone she has positioned as a giant human shield around her. There are several people on Daenerys' side that are capable of doing this, and in fact actually just recently did this. Then I realized that Tyrion has made it plain that Cersei and the life of her unborn child still influence his decision making, and that is probably going to be a problem. The second thing that caught my attention we'll talk about when we get to it, so let's look at this scene by scene and then talk about what it tells us about episode 5, the penultimate episode of the Game of Thrones series. The trailer opens with a shot of Dragonstone, we see Daenerys from behind looking at the sea and her hand Tyrion approaching. No one else seems to be present so it looks like Daenerys was alone thinking about the coming battle. We get a close up of Tyrion's face as he's walking, he looks serious and cautious. He could be coming to make a plea to Daenerys to change her strategy, or he could be coming to take her temperature before things get started. He could be coming to rat out Varys, but I think something else would have to happen to move him in that direction. Action. As things were left at the end of the last episode, it seems that the people Daenerys trusts to advise her are all willing to consider other options at the very least. Cersei is looking out the window again, and what stands out here is the scorpions along the walls. In the last episode, we saw them outside the gates, and this picture makes it look like they basically stretch all the way around the city. They look like they would be fairly effective if Daenerys tried to fly up to the city low to the ground. Beyond that, I'm not really sure about what their range is or how high dragons can fly, so I can't say if this is great planning of the defenses by Kyburn or something that looks way more effective than it might actually be. The camera comes around to look at Cersei from the front. She looks to be alone with the mountain guarding her and appears to be pleased with how things are going down. I don't think there's much more to say about that, but it does give off some serious season 6 finale vibe. In the next shot we see that Jon Snow and Davos have arrived. They've positioned the remaining troops outside of King's Landing and we can see that there is more than a handful of troops left. The thing that stands out in this shot is the fact that the Golden Company is outside of the walls. I'm not a military strategist, but this looks odd to me. But yes, Jon has arrived and is surveying the situation with Davos and Tyrion. The angle changes so we see Jon from the front and he looks tense. I'm not sure, but I think this is later than the last image. In that one you see him looking over the troops from a hill. In this one it looks like he took a position out in front of the men. I don't think there would be any troops behind him on the shot from the hill, but either way he looks serious and probably should be. The Golden Company looks fresh and should have the upper hand here, even if it is weird that they went outside the walls. We see Euron's ships on the water outside the city. It cuts to a shot of him on deck, and we see the scorpion behind him to remind us that it wouldn't be a good idea to fly a dragon in this direction either. He looks like he is a little anxious and is waiting to see where Daenerys might come from. After that we get a dark look at the throne room in Dragonstone. When I brighten it and zoom in it looks like Daenerys is sitting on her throne. There are Unsullied off to both sides and two people are standing in front of her. Tyrion is the one on the left and it's not clear who is the one on the right. If I had to guess I would say it's Varys and at least don't see anything to make me think it isn't him. Besides that I don't know we can draw any conclusion about what's going on. We do see Tyrion from the front in the next shot and he looks concerned. But again not much as far as why this is an important scene and why they decided to add it to the trailer. 
The next shot is the Golden Company marching through King's Landing. It looks like they're going out of the gates. We see the city behind them. On first glance, they look most likely to be going to take their positions outside of the walls where we saw them earlier. They look impressive, seasoned, and ready for the battle. When you look at the image closer though, there's definitely a hooded captive with them. This is the second thing that stood out to me about this trailer, and my first thought was that who could Cersei have captured that she could send out to the battlefield to turn the tides and get them to surrender? They do appear to be walking out of the gates, not bringing someone inside. It looks like a man for sure, and so my first thought was Jaime. We know he's headed there. Perhaps he turned himself in, and when he arrived, and they ended up taking him captive rather than taking him to Cersei. Or they took him to Cersei and she didn't accept him. It's confusing though. Showing that Jaime is a prisoner would be helpful to Cersei in this battle. How? Why would Jon Snow or Daenerys care if he was captured? Tyrion would care, but how would his knowing change anything? It's not like they're going to do a prisoner exchange, like Daenerys is going to give up her hand of the king in order to free Jaime. Like, it just doesn't really make sense. So it could not be Jaime, it could be someone else, but I don't know who that other person is that would be so important to Jon and Daenerys' side. I haven't been able to come up with a good answer for who this is, and as I've been looking around, I haven't seen a good answer as to who this is either. So you guys are going to have to tell me what you think in the comments. Do you think they're taking this person out to the battlefield, and what do you actually think is going on here? Who is it? Why does it matter? After that, we get a close-up shot of Grey Worm, who looks just like you would expect him to look after losing Masande. There's really no question what he wants to do and how ready he is for this battle. There's another profile shot of Cersei that reminds us of her blowing up the Sept of Baelor. It hints that she's equally prepared to get rid of her enemies here as she was that day. Since we don't expect her to come out on top, it leaves me wondering how this will all go wrong for her. There is a shot of the Lannister soldiers loading a bolt onto one of the scorpions. We get a look at the Lannister lion head on the front of the weapon and can see how lethal the bolt itself actually looks. Then there is a silent shot of the sky. We see that there are some clouds and it looks like a dragon could come breaking through them at any second. Then we get the last shot of the trailer and it's Euron standing on the deck of the silence. He's looking up using his arm to shield the sun. We hear the sound of Drogon as it zooms in on his face. We see his expression change to one of concern, and then it fades to black. This feels a little suspect to me. I don't know what he's looking at. I mean, he changes his look. He, he sees something. He's worried. But I don't think we should assume that this is tied into that dragon sound that they played over top. Either way, the trailer ends there, and we'll have to wait until next week to find out. So we know the battle is going to happen and we see everyone getting into position. We get no images of anyone who isn't directly related to the fight for King's Landing. We don't really see any character stuff going on leading up to that other than the couple of shots we get of Daenerys and Tyrion. There's no shots of the North, no shots of the characters who should still be on their way south, and only a character with a hood over his head that hints that Cersei has more up her sleeve than we thought. As I said in the beginning, things aren't looking favorable for Daenerys. Jon has arrived. We know based on his character that what he told her about being his queen will still stand. But he might be the only person on her side that is actually committed. And there's also his personal conflict involved in that. I imagine they will have a reunion before he heads out to the battlefield, but we don't get any evidence of that here. Of course, we have seen in previous trailers that they're in Dragonstone together, so that will probably happen before the battle itself. The shot in the throne room sure looks ominous since it's dark and we don't know what's going on. Since it looks like Varys is up in the front of the room and they only showed us Tyrion's face, it might hint at something going on with him. Maybe she finds out about his betrayal. But there's not enough here to say that they're not just discussing the plan or how they're going to move forward after things get wrapped up. It's important to remember that this is an 80 minute episode and there's a ton of stuff that they're just not showing us here. The battle and the 
the taking of King's Landing or the destruction of King's Landing or whatever that turns out to be isn't going to be the entire episode, I don't think, like we saw with the Battle of Winterfell. However, I do believe that the end of the battle will kind of be the end of the episode. So there should be a lot of buildup, even though things were already in place. You know, Cersei definitely got them ready to attack at the end of the last episode. But I think most of what's going to happen here is going to happen before they actually do that. And I'm really curious as to how they're going to fill up this entire 80 minutes. For now, I'll leave it there. I want to get going on the other stuff I have to work on for this previous episode. I wanted to get this video out first. Let me know in the comments what you think. Who is the hooded character? What's going on with Tyrion? What's going on with Varys? What will Daenerys actually do? Is there any real path forward for her to use the dragons? I don't really know. Like I said, the defense looks really impressive, but is there some way that she can get around that? I just really don't know. I do know that her lack of support is probably going to turn out to be a bigger issue altogether. And so I'll leave it there. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel to follow along with the rest of the season. We only have two more episodes to go. Let me know what you're thinking in the comments and thanks for watching. I will talk to you soon.